Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys an anti-haul. So if you guys don't know what an anti-haul is, basically it is where I show you guys products that I don't want. It just doesn't attract my attention, just for whatever reason, I'm not buying it. So if you would like to see what I am not buying, then just keep watching. So I'm going to be getting most of my inspiration off Trend Mood. I follow her account all the time. I'm obsessed with it. She posts the best deals, the best new product releases. Like she's always just on the ball. Like, you know what I mean? Like she's just always on it and I love it so much. The first thing that I'm not going to get is the KKW Beauty, the ultra light beams. There's five highlighters, which are loose powders. And then there's five lip glosses that correspond with the loose powders. None of them catch my fancy at all. Like I'm looking at them on my phone and just none of them catch my fancy. I am personally like a lipstick girl and if I want like a little bit of like a shine then I'll just use a clear gloss. I don't really use the gloss at all. Who knows, maybe in like two years time I'll completely change but for now it doesn't suit my makeup style personally. And I don't know, like none of them look, like the yellow gold and the bronze look so similar. It's like, ugh, I don't know. I'm just going to miss out on it. There's just something missing there for me. The next thing that I won't be getting is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. These just to me, they look nice in the swatch, but I just feel like they wouldn't transfer to the face very well. I own a few Physicians Formula powders and they just, I don't know, like it's hit or miss. Like some of them are really, really good and then some of them are really bad. It's hit or miss with me for Physicians Formula. And in Australia, it will probably cost like $25. So for $25, I may as well buy like an Ofra highlighter or something. So I'm missing out on that. And also, I don't even think it's going to be released in Australia anytime soon. Because we only just got the butter bronzer. And that's like old news. Still good, but old news. Kat Von D. Now, I love Kat Von D. I've been using her products for years and years and years and years. I was using her palettes when they were in that metal casing. Like, does anyone remember those? Like, the Ladybird palette and a few others. If I dig my collection, I could probably find them for you guys. But I've been using her products for years and years and years. I've been a true believer that her shadows are some of the best on the market. At least for matte shadows. I love them. But this palette, it's called the Metal Matte Mini Palette. Too many M's in that one. It's limited edition. It looks like this. I'll include pictures of everything so you can see them properly. I like how there's a matte shade and a corresponding shimmer, but at the same time, like, I don't want a matte yellow that's not even like a brightening yellow. Like, maybe if you're somebody of color, you could use that. But just like the palette itself to me, I couldn't create many looks with it at all. Like, I'm a strong believer. Like, there's 10 shadows in this palette, and I don't think that I could make a lot of looks out of it. So, bye. The next thing I won't be getting, and I love ColourPop, I love ColourPop shadows, I just won't be getting the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights round four, I don't know what that means, the Dream Collection. So the palette is the only thing that I've seen so far, and that's not what I'll be getting at all. These palettes don't really attract me. Like the only colors that I really like here are the bottom two, which is Waterbearer and Mermaid Boy, and they're like one's like a teal matte color and the other one's like a beautiful like gunmetal color. The other colors just don't really suit my skin tone. Like I don't really suit like orange colors. I already have some of those in my collection and I don't really use them because they don't suit me. And just a few other colors like that. It's just overall the palette I wouldn't use. Like I just know I wouldn't use it. Okay, when I first saw this, I thought it was a joke, but apparently it isn't and it is coming out. This is the Too Faced Glow Job. I just, I can't. It's a radiance boosting glitter face mask. I just can't. Like, the name is way too similar to something else. Um, I don't want to say it in case any kids watch it, you know, but if you're old enough to know, you know what I mean, and I am not buying it for that. Like, what about if someone came up to you and was like, oh my god, your skin looks so beautiful. What's your skincare? Oh yeah, I just used the Glow Job face mask, and then like, I use this and this. No, it just sounds, no, like, call it something else, like, glitter up or something. Ugh. I'd buy it if it was like something less. Ugh. Okay, the next thing I won't be getting is this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar thing. Oh my god, no thanks. No thanks. They look like there is literally so many shimmers in this. Like, I think there's only four mattes out of this whole palette, and then everything else is a shimmer. No thanks. No thanks. Like, that silver and that gold look so bomb, but just no. I'm not paying $50 for that. No, bye. 
Okay, so the next product, I was looking at it at work. It's from Kevin Aquan. And I was umming and ahhing about it. I was like, do I like it or don't I like it? And I've decided I don't like it. It's called the Electro Pop Palette. This retails for $57. US dollars. It includes 12 sheer metallic duo cream shades. Like, for $60 US dollars, pretty much. I don't want anything sheer. Like... You hear me? Like, they don't look sheer in the swatches, but I feel like that would be a bitch to apply to the eye. Like, I feel like you would have to, like, stick your finger in there and go, like, eh, and then, eh, and it'd just be too hard for me. Like, no, no, no. And also, there's only probably, like, four colors out of all of that that I would use. Like, probably that beautiful purple, that teal, and maybe those two up the top corner there, like, the yellow gold and the, like, white color. All the other colors don't really catch my fancy. Okay, again with ColourPop, and I feel really bad that I'm mentioning a second ColourPop item, but you know what? The truth is the truth, and that is just part of life. These are the ColourPop Luster Dust. Like, they just don't look that appealing. The only one that kind of looks okay is that Grimoni shade, and even then, I feel like that would just look so silver on the skin, at least for me. I feel like with those pinky highlighters... For me, if it's not right, it looks really, really bad. Like, it's a very fine line between good and bad with it. So, no thank you. Bye. This is another face mask. Why are so many brands coming out with face masks for the holidays? Whatever. This is called the Glam Glow Glitter Mud Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. So, it's a limited edition. It says on the website that it's $69 and it's a peel-off mask. I'm not getting it because I feel like it's just a little bit dangerous. Those little stars, like, maybe they're cosmetic grade, but what about if it got in my eye? Oh my god, no. What about if it literally sent me blind? Like, I've read so many things where glitter has gotten into people's eye. Like, I just don't want, like, the star shard to go in my eye and make me blind. No. Okay, Lucky Last is a palette from Kylie Jenner or Kylie Cosmetics. It is their part of their Christmas holiday collection 2017. And I'll insert a picture of it what, and what it looks like. But seriously, this palette doesn't look good to me. I would probably use like the same one matte brown shade. And that is the only color I'd use in this palette. It doesn't make me inspired either. Like sometimes I'll buy makeup because I feel an artistic element to it. This palette I just feel like is very blah to me. Don't get me wrong. I feel like some people would really, really like it. It's just for me... These colors don't really work with my makeup style. I kind of don't really lean towards these tones. And the tones that I do lean towards, I've got a million of in my collection already. So I'm not even going to bother. Okay, guys. So that is a few products that I won't be buying. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you won't be buying. And if you will be picking up some of the products that I won't be buying. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody. And if you got anything, it's just my personal preference. It's just not what I would spend my dollars on. I would just spend it on other things. And yeah. But if it is good, let me know in the comments down below so I can check it out. But just based off what I've read online and stuff like that, I won't be getting these things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.